All right, welcome everybody. I'm gonna make a quick video. It's gonna be a full tutorial on how to actually set up the actual Cooley FX4 trade copier. So I have three brokers already set up here, the JFX, Trader's Way, and LQDFX. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on how to actually set this up. So I have them all running right now. No trades are locked in. But in order for you to install the file, you need to install it on the MT4 desktop. Cannot be installed on the motor on the on the mobile app. You have to use a desktop, you have to use a computer, you have to use a laptop, you have to install this and have it completely be running so that way you can see your trades on your phone. So that is what I've been that is what I've been told. So unless otherwise. You don't need to purchase a VPS because I'm running the VPS myself here at home. Uh, let's see here. So when you get the file, let me pull up here. You guys should be able to see. Yep. So when you actually get the file, I'm going to click on the Cooley FX4. And then you click on the file here. Okay. This file needs to be copy and paste and when you go into your tool section you click on your tool section and you go to your options here you need to enter you know your http uh, colon slash slash copy that auto fx pro and you also well yeah you also need to do all this you need to click allow automated trading and it automatically do the uh, automatic click these two the word document has it word for word every single step is on the word document so I'm, make, I'm just making a video to show you guys how to set it up uh, visually so you can see a visual for yourself you need to enter you need to type in HTTP the copy autofxpro.com and also and also the http register.autofx.com these two need to be entered and then you click ok and then you go down to your uh, you go down to your file you click open data folder when you open your data folder this one right here this guy you need to copy and paste your Cooley FX4 file into this into this folder if you don't do it, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm just being honest. And then, and then what you do is you go back down, and you need to refresh your expert advisor. So you right-click here and you click refresh, and then you automatically will see the Cooley FX4. And then what you do is you take the Cooley FX4 and drag it to your mo uh, to your chart. And you should see it says, you know, Cooley FX allows you to receive trade signals from CooleyFX.com powered by this. You can click on this. You can also click on this. So everything is already set up here. And you just click OK. Obviously, I'm doing the same thing on the same account. So obviously, this wouldn't be the receipt. This wouldn't be. Uh, this wouldn't be the uh, the receiver. This is the provider. Reason being, because I have it set it right here. I'm the provider. The account. You are the receiver. So when I click the receiver, I see that I have two accounts set up as receivers. I need the actual account number. And then, if you are if you are an LKDFX affiliate under my IB link, then I guess I'm going to verify that. Also, I can ver also this software can actually verify if you are an affiliate. If you're not, you have to, and if you want the free trade copy, you have to set it set up under my IB link, and it has to be an, and it has to be an LKDFX account. If not, you're gonna have to pay the 120 a month, and and then you're gonna have to give me like I said, your no matter what, you have to give me your account number, and and then that way I can find you, and then. And then I put you as a receiver, and then when you when you are a receiver, so like how this is a receiver, the orange is a receiver. So if you're the slave account, you're not the mat, you're not the master. 
the blue is the provider account, the master account. So with this as the provider, you just you enter my account number, and it only works. It only works. Like I said, it, it only, no one else would have the same account number as me. So, and then once it's verified, then you then you'll actually see this saying QEFX. If you somehow entered, if you somehow enter my account number and it doesn't say Cooley FX, especially if it doesn't say Cooley FX right here, you'll know you're in the wrong uh, trade copier. So it's very, very important. And if you if you enter it wrong, like let's just say you enter a wrong account number, it will send you back to my website, and you have to. It'll make you. It'll force you to sign up under my ID link. So. And then I, I have fixed the other issue that if you use a different broker, you can automatically get signed up and and you can uh, you can also like I say you also connect the actual whatever traders way, JFX, Fin Pro, FX Choice, LMFX, whatever broker it is that you want to connect to my master. It doesn't matter what it is, you can connect to it instead of being uh instead of the sending you back to my website and have you sign up under my LQDFX account which which that was a huge issue in the beginning when I had this software so uh, like I said it, like I said the number one thing is that you to, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back uh, let me take these off here I'm gonna go back so you can Let's see here. So, like I said, when you go, you have to click on options. You have to allow. You have to click allow automated trading. It automatically click to here. It automatically click here. Make sure you have both these links typed in: copy.autofxpro.com and also register.autofxpro.com. Needs to be, and these these two need to be typed in, and then you click OK. And then you go straight to your data, open your data folder on your file, you click file, and you click open data folder. And then you've got to copy and paste the Cooley, Cooley FX4 file here. And then drag this, we'll refresh it, refresh it, and then you'll see the new expert advisor, Cooley FX. And then drag it right here. I already did it and then click OK. It automatically sets it up right here. And so, and then like I said, I, I'm going to give you my account number. There's 922695. I'm not using it. It's going to be a different account number. So, I'm just letting everybody know. I'm just showing you. And like I said, I'm just showing you guys how, how to set this up. And then once you want, but the first thing is that I need your account number first. I need to enter you as a receiver before you enter me as a provider. So that's another thing. You can't, you can't just, you can't just enter my account number and then expect to get in because I don't have access to your, to your account number to add you in. So that when you enter my account number, that you can, you can have, you can actually have full access right away. And then you get to see these settings first. Once it's all done, let me exit this because I'm gonna the provider for this one. So once it's already done, you can see what you want to do for slippage, uh, lot size here. You can do all this: fix lot size, stop loss, percentage ratio, multiply, provide risk scaling, provided risk scaling. Uh, scale factor 1.0 maximum lot size whatever it is uh, if equity is draw down reach this you know you can say if you're at if you're on negative equity and, it, and it's like 99 percent pretty much like you're about to lose your whole account you can say close all trades you know close and stop or close win trades close lose trades do nothing um everything here should be checked everything here should be checked that way you can copy exactly the same trade that I'm doing I don't like I said I don't set stop loss or take profits this is just a consistent account to catch 10 20 pips a day one one to two percent gains for the week so 
you can enable it or disable it whatever I'm trying to why isn't this I'm trying to run through another I'm trying to run through this software so you guys can see oh I know why I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry hang on hang on guys what the heck is this doing? Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Sorry about that. So, I was on the other account, so. That's why it wasn't going to work. So, once it's fully up and running, you can actually enable or disable. Cause I have mine running up here. Another cool thing is that I might look into sending this as signals because you, I can actually be a provider of signals, which means I can set it. You, well, I, well, for me at the provider, you can say this. It says that this will allow only signal from provider's account to be sent out. The receiver will receive only signals by alert. So, but the only way, like I said, the only way for you to see this is if you're on your computer. Uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the MT4 mobile app is going to have send out alerts. I'm still working with them to see, I'm still working with them to see if there's a way of doing it. So, like I said, <clears throat> everything is on the desktop. Everything is running on the computer. So, I'm going to have my computer run from Sunday all the way till Friday. So, it's pretty much six days straight. So, and then Saturday, I was in my training Saturday. Forex market doesn't run that day, but like I said, this is something that needs to be run on, on the computer. So, I'm still trying to get some more answers and quite like yeah, some answers and more questions on what to do on the MT4 mobile app on your smartphone. So, like I said, don't be trying to hop on your on your phone. And saying that you know it's gonna you're gonna get trades on your phone. The only way you're gonna see trades is if you have this already set up on your computer and have it fully up and running. So I have my software running and constantly running so that I'm not I'm not gonna be like if I enter a trade on my phone because these are, you can open these accounts and log into your accounts on your MT4 mobile. So if I open a trade on my MT4 mobile app. You know, I should be. You should be able to see it on your smartphone, and should be able to be executed if you have this up and running. So that's the most important thing. So that's why I said you got to have this up and running. And if you don't have it up and running, then there's really no point using this, to be honest. So remember, this software is for the desktop, not for the mobile app. Then you got to remember that Auto FX Pro probably. I mean, if you look at the Auto FX Pro software, it's not meant for the MT4 mobile app, anyways. So that's that's already uh you know that's something that you should already know. Common sense, you know, the software running on the computer, not on the phone. So like I said, this should yeah like I said, this is just a a little uh, a quick tutorial, full tutorial on how to actually set it up once you get the file. And then, like I said, yeah, I need the account number first, and then once it's once I put you in my receiver list, like right here, where I have these two accounts set up, then I go ahead and, like I said, I go ahead and give you my account number. You go ahead and type in my account number, and it needs to say Cooley FX. I don't care how you name it, but it needs to say Cooley FX as soon as you see it. If it doesn't say Cooley FX, obviously you're in the wrong trade copy or account. So I'm just being honest about that. Uh, like I said, you are getting the Word document attached to this file. I already sent out the Word document to mo to all my signals, my signals group, all my paid members, and some of those that were interested. So you get the Word document. That way you can read up on it. Please read it. Please look at the steps. Please look at the settings. I'm making this video so that you guys can see it visually uh, and see it visual. For your for yourself so you get to see exactly how to do this and so other than that 
Other than that, that's pretty much all I got.